Alright you guys, well this would have been the room if the landlord didn't get super sketch, so uh, this is this is it. I, uh, I packed up my stuff. It's the last day here. I don't know exactly, like I haven't confirmed the next spot yet where I'm going, but I know that today's the last day here, so that's a lot of fun. The, uh, the other roommates, Reed and Maddox, uh, said yesterday that they were just like gonna spend the weekend just heading out because they don't trust this guy anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've just been on a frantic get the heck out of the house. And uh, it would have been beautiful. I really like this spot. It's a little disappointing, um, but it is what it is. Long story short, he didn't follow up on any of his word that he said he would do for us, and we waited a week uh, and still nothing, and then things just started getting weirder and weirder. And uh, here is the outside. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Glass everywhere. Nice and bright, above ground. But anyway, right from the get-go, this dude left this place trashed on our move-in day, and we had to clean it all up. Uh, we can't move any of our stuff in and unpack our stuff because all of his stuff was occupying it. We made a small pile in the kitchen of all the stuff that he left all over the counter. And uh, we had to clean off the counters too. Anyways, it was a lot of work, and we're like, you know what, we don't deserve this. So we thought we might as well just get the heck out while we can. Oh, the only good news is, this is what I was going to say, the only good news, we didn't have to pay any rent because we were waiting for the paperwork, um, and so he's still not asking for money, so we're just getting out of here and just taking this as a, a loss and uh, moving forward. So, looks like he'll be back to basement living for all of us for a bit, and we won't be uh, roomies for the time being, but uh, it was a good season while it lasted. It's just about figuring out the next step now, and I'm just waiting to hear back from people. But it's a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. It would have been great, like, I had a whole system going for the room. Like, first of all, the room is gorgeous. Um, so you come in here, you get the friggin' high ceiling with the slant, which I really dig. Nice big window with another window and a door out. Two closets and then bathroom, and then like waking up and having a dry space to go do like your workouts and keeping the ring set up. It just seemed like a great thing. Um, and then the bathroom, mirrors on mirrors up in here, which is good with their own little shower. Uh, it's disappointing, I am not too thrilled about it. And downstairs is really awesome too. We can quickly show you that, I guess. We got the shoes on. We got uh, this little guy here too, which is a lot of fun. Anyways, if we get our shoes on here, we can go through the basement to get to this spot, but I don't really want to do that right now because the basement is also a disaster. But if we open up this guy, which is locked. And getting through all the friggin' wet grass here. There was like a little covered patio space here, which is a lot of fun with some tapestry. Beautiful couches. And you just friggin' sit down and enjoy not being soaked in the rain. It's a little cluttered, obviously, but it was all gonna get cleaned up, so lots of friggin' potential to just jive over here. And then to get back in, there's a sliding door right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I love it, but I don't love it because we gotta get out of here. And it's unfortunate, but... And I was going to stay posted on all the videos because I do still want to be posting two videos a week, but we don't have any Wi-Fi over here. And with the amount of friggin' stress for everybody about uh, wondering what our living situation was and what was happening, the dude was MIA for so long. He's out in Squamish right now with no cell reception, and uh, he won't talk to us on Wi-Fi. Like, he added us on Messenger and just doesn't talk, so he left us in the dark for like a whole week. And... Uh, yeah, it was just weird, so I, my bad for not posting videos, but more videos to come. Hopefully I'll be getting Wi-Fi soon again. But, uh, oh, and this place, oh, I left my shoes all the way over there. The thing is, is uh, having a large house to be in, it, like the cleaning triples, takes so much longer. And then if you forget something on the other end of the house, which for me happens a lot, there's so much extra walking to do, but it's also good if you want to stay lean, but also not good if you're trying to get some muscle mass. So I don't know. I don't know what uh, the deal is on that one. But anyways, here's the front door. So yeah, this dude just has like a butt ton of stuff. There's the mint. 
here's the two car garage that's absolutely full of stuff that he was going to clean out that uh, I was going to use to like build some whips and uh, yeah this, this is the casa oh and the pumpkin that has yet to be carved but ultimately what the problem was was that uh, he literally said the other day I should have said this a lot sooner, but word for word said that he didn't want anyone having rights in his house, so he refused to give us paperwork. But last week, before we even moved in, he said he'd have paperwork for us by the weekend, um, and said we'd be his roommates. He said we wouldn't like have like we leaseholders because he's a leaseholder, and that makes sense. Uh, but then he went back on everything. Oh, then he asked for uh, our all of our IDs, uh, proof of employment, references, and all this. We all gave it to him immediately and then he just sat on it and did absolutely nothing. As he said he was building the files and stuff and the documents and then he's just like, yeah, you know what? I don't want anyone having uh, any rights in my house, so I'm gonna just not. So we're like, all right, we're out of here. So it was an interesting week to say the least, absolutely interesting week. And I'm gonna miss this huge glass window. This is one of my favorites, um, but it is what it is. Time for some other things. Here's all my stuff that's got to get out of here. Got some saddles and stuff too. And what's also weird is he like 3D printed a whole bunch of like gun stuff, which was a lot of fun. And he also has a, a hornet's nest. <laughs> Sleeping giant. <laughs> Craig's canceled. Cancel, cancel, cancel the Craig. Cancel the Craig. Okay, you guys, so the car is almost packed. I just need to put the cooler in and the clit ring, and then uh, we're stuffed right to the brim. Here, I'll go show the other side real quick. Boom. So Reed and Maddox already left at 8.30 this morning. I just got off work, so I gotta finish the rest now. I need these headrests in the car. Need some light to just double check everything. Got a bag. Oh, chickpeas. Thank you, Reed and Maddox, for leaving that. Um, do I have anything in the fridge? My peanut butter. Can't leave without the peanut butter. Okay, we're officially strapped in. Looking great. I love putting this cooler on top of the car. Great time. Okay, so did a final check. Everything's all there. What the heck? Plants. And all we have to do is turn out the last light. And uh, Craig, if you watch this, we I put the ottoman back in the middle and organized the pillows nice. It's tidy. So, without further ado, away we friggin' go. That's it, didn't get the friggin' passcode changed on me, which was really good. Really thankful for that. Lights out. Oh, left that light on. Goodbye, Craig. Away we go. And Craig didn't show up while I was packing, which was good. And now I'm gonna let Maddox and Reed know that he can text them and say we're not living here anymore. Which is great, because they were waiting for me to get the last bit of stuff before they told them we're piecing out. Now I just gotta find room for the camera. Wow, it is crammed. Absolutely crammed in here. 